go, go, where's the go, 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 where's the uh, really body, uh, shake it back. Alright, what is going on guys? My name is Static CG and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to use the pinch and punch effect on Sony Vegas Pro 14 or any other version of Sony Vegas Pro. I'm just using Sony Vegas Pro 14 because it's the latest one and it moves the smoothest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please drop a like and also subscribe to my channel. And if you're not sure what we're going to be doing in this video, I put a preview before this video even started. So you should know what this will look like in the end result. So without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we are going to do guys is import your clip into Sony Vegas Pro and then you want to press U on your keyboard and then you, this is going to separate audio and video and then you want to delete the audio so once you delete the audio guys you want to right click on the clip and go all the way down and click on properties make sure disable resample is ticked and press ok so this is just gonna get rid of all the anti ghosting when you switch um, between the frames and it's just gonna look um, really nice and neat so um, it's gonna run pretty smooth I'm just taking off this on you unnecessary part right over there so um, the third thing you want to do guys is import your song into the um, audio part and um, you want to find where the beat drops in the song so I'm just gonna find it and I'll be right back Alright guys, I found where the beat drops in this song and what you want to do is press S on your keyboard to split the audio file and delete the one on the left because we're not going to be using that. So um, the next thing you want to do guys is find where the gun shoots. Um, so, okay, I'm just, just somewhere right over here. It shoots, okay, it's right over there right there and then you want to put the um, file the audio to start where the um, gun shoots so now the audio is synced up with the clip so I'm just gonna play it over for you guys so as you can see when the beat drops the gun shoots which is um, yeah it looks really nice but the next thing you want to do guys is go over to where the gun actually shoots and you want to press S on your keyboard to split the clip and then you wanna um you wanna go right about here I guess and uh, just split the clip again so you're gonna end up with this one in the middle. Now what you wanna do is click on event effects and you wanna look for the Vegas pinch and punch. So you don't need any plugins, it comes with the actual Vegas itself. So once you've got that, just click OK. And from here what you wanna do is make sure the amount is on zero. Then you want to go to animate and then you want to go in the first frame make sure it's on zero then you want to go to the last frame make sure it's on zero and then you want to go three frames backwards so one two three and then you want to make sure this is on minus dot 750. so as you can see everything caves in and i don't really know how to explain it but you guys can see it so um, next thing you want to do is go um like about 10 frames backwards depending on how big the clip is 10 or 12 or 15 any monk you want so any monk you feel comfortable with so yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then you want to put it to 0 so um as you can see um i'm gonna play the clip right now so as you can see the um the screen actually does the punch the pinch over here and then the punch right there so that's basically how you do it but uh, one thing I forgot to do is um, this looks really fast so what you want to do is um, if you're using this effect you want to do it on like uh, the ending kill cam so because it's much slower or if you want you can make this slower using velocity and you know just make it look really nice but that's not what we're here to learn in this video today i'm just um doing the overall i'm giving you a general idea on how to do this pinch and punch effect so um yeah so as you can see this is how you do it now just um, go over to name it whatever you want and just save it so um every time you want to do this pinch and punch effect now you have it saved so um, that is basically how you do it guys and um, if you realize like I've done this in a few of my edits like most of them actually I just find it looks really nice or oh, about right about here um, yeah it just makes it look really nice so um, that's basically how you do it guys 
thank you so much for watching this video yeah so that's been it and uh, subscribe if you're new like the video if it did help you all tell me what you um think in the comment section below and yeah so that's basically it and i will see you guys in the next video peace out